Hello everyone, uh, Snap Trading here. Um, today is Monday, June 24th. Uh, I'm here with a quick recap. Um, so let's get started here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work my way from the top down. So um, DHR. Um, so here I saw a um, overextension on the daily um, and there was a um, potential retest here at the 141.9 um, EMA on the daily. Um, and then you can see here that 142.60s, 142.60s, and then this was uh, consolidating at the 142.60s here um, during this day. And I was actually watching for this to continue lower to test the 90 EMA there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so what I saw here was a, a downtrend right here from this high to here, and I saw it's kind of breaking this uh, descending triangle. I took a short there, re-added on this little pop, and took profit here and here, um, which was the low day retest. It eventually bounced um, to retest this trend line, and went lower to 142. Um, I'm expecting it to go lower uh, tomorrow, uh, maybe to the 141.50s or 141 to retest that 90 EMA here. But that was a $116 winner. So KRYS, so this one in the morning, um, this had like a big gap uh, and it was a little bit fading in the morning. And I saw this, uh, what's this, 36.50 area. You can see it was holding support here pretty strongly. It was creating lower highs lower highs here um, and then I took the short there anticipating for this so I ended up covering most of my position there at the 35.50 um, break short at 36.50 so that was like a point move uh, and then I ended up covering um, uh, some on this push and then just cutting some uh, before before my stop there and that was a $148 winner uh, for this quick uh, ascending triangle break short. Uh, QD was a loss. So QD, a um, little disappointed, but it had this uh, eight, 879 area. And I was watching this uh, for this fell flag here. So you can see it had this flag uh, and then it had this triangle. Uh, once it fell here, you can see that a little um, push up. Um, it didn't move, so I went ahead and I actually initially missed that short on the A79. So I end up trying to um, short that uh, bounce. So you can see I short that bounce there, and then I kind of cut my losses here uh, when it wasn't going lower as I extended. So I eventually went back over and then above consolidating above that uh, retest line above this uh, 79 area. Uh, but I took a $69 loss there. Um, and, I, I, um, and then, so S-Books, um, so Starbucks, I had a um, little bias here on the short side because the 9 EMA here. So you can see the 9 EMA is up here. I'm thinking at 8320s would be a good retest of that daily chart. Um, and then you can see it was bouncing off this 84 area. Uh, I went ahead and start short here for this fell flag. Um, I think it was this small flag here. So you can see this small flag, it, it fell. So I went ahead and started short, added. Uh, I ended up covering here um, was was a little scared uh, push up there um, above that break breakdown area uh, but it eventually just rolled over so I went ahead and re added short there and then covered at that red area um, and then end up covering the rest there for a $44 winner uh, could have been a bigger winner but I stopped out there VVPR um, so this one had a good uh, early breakout here on this uh, cup and handle flag so you can see this cup and handle uh, broke 
Uh, I accidentally misclicked, which was a bummer. Um, I wanted to take some partial there, like 100 shares, but I actually just took it all off. And that was a $9 winner. Um, and then I ended up taking a loss on the short side here. Um, I ended up shorting for this, I think, was it the five minute break? Uh, it was a five minute break. Uh, it went to retest and then it popped up and I stopped out. And that was like a $40, $45 loss. Um, and then I end up taking it again right here for this cup and handle break. Um, right here and I end up just covering there and pretty much uh, broke, broke even on the short side there for a $5 loss. So up a total of $243 today uh, on a Monday. So hopefully this momentum continue and be more uh, discipline to take my gains and cut my losses quickly um, but as always I um, would like to thank everyone for watching um, and if you haven't done so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give a comment if you would like to see anything else thank you bye bye